every three minutes someone dies of cancer. Day after day, week after week, month after month, cancer kills close to 200,000 of our people each year. Yet more than one third of these deaths can be prevented. Fear, ignorance, superstition are responsible for these needless casualties. My dear, what a terrible disgrace. They say she died of cancer. I'm just sure that she caught it from that old business so-and-so. Cancer germs were all over the place. Once you get cancer, that's all, brother. You're through. That's one thing that can't be cured. A friend of mine told me about a new medicine for cancer. It's just wonderful. You don't have to have an operation. Everybody knows it's inherited. None of my folks had cancer, so I don't have to worry. Don't be a sucker. Everyone's chances of developing cancer are just about the same regardless of heredity. We all have to be on guard. No case of cancer has ever been cured by patent medicine, salves, pastes, ointments, or other quack treatments. Cancer is no more of a disgrace than pneumonia or any other disease. Cancer is not contagious. Many people are being cured of cancer every day. Now to study cancer's effect on the human body. Let's assume that our organs are like a group of interrelated factories. Raw materials are brought to the factories by the bloodstream, which travels through the arteries. Waste products are carried away by the veins and lymph canals. The cells of the body may be thought of as workers in these factories. These cells work smoothly along on their routine job of keeping the body alive and healthy. a cell dies. When this happens, a healthy cell merely divides itself to fill the gap. When the gaps are filled by new cells, the division stops and the cells go on with their work. This is normal cell behavior, and most people live out their lives in this untroubled fashion. Once in a while, something goes wrong with the normal cell, and cancer originates. A healthy, normal cell turns into a malignant cancer cell. and multiplying relentlessly, cancer cells crowd out the active workers. Cancer starts with one cell. It can be cured if it is treated while it is still in its original place. By removal through simple surgery. By radiation from X-ray tubes. emanating from radium. When every single cancer cell is removed by surgery, or destroyed by x-ray, or radium, the patient is cured. 
If cancer is not destroyed when it is localized, here's what happens. This small cancer growth in the breast is neglected. Now we're in trouble. The cancer cells have escaped from their original location and are getting into the lymph canal. Although in some cases, cancer cells travel through the bloodstream as well. The malignant horde is on its way to invade other parts of the body. The invading horde reaches the lymph nodes under the arm. This is the last chance, because when the cancer cells escape from this lymph node, they move from the armpit to the point at the base of the neck where the lymph pours into the bloodstream. Now they are pumped by heart action to the lungs where many new cancers develop. The blood then carries some of the cancer cells from the lungs back to the heart which pumps them out through the arteries to all parts of the body. When the neglected cancer has spread throughout the body, there is no hope for cure. Fortunately, many cancers can be cured if recognized and treated in time. So look out for these danger signals. Any sore that does not heal, particularly about the tongue, mouth, or lips. A painless lump or thickening, especially in the breast, lip, or tongue. Irregular bleeding or discharge from any natural body opening. Progressive change in the color or size of a wart, mole, or birthmark. Persistent indigestion. Persistent hoarseness. Unexplained cough or difficulty in swallowing. Any change in normal bowel habits. Pain is seldom a symptom of early cancer. So don't forget these danger signals. Any sore that does not heal, particularly about the tongue, mouth, or lips. A painless lump or thickening, especially in the breast, lip, or tongue. Irregular bleeding or discharge from any natural body opening. Progressive change in the color or size of a wart, mole, or birthmark. Persistent indigestion. Persistent hoarseness. Unexplained cough or difficulty in swallowing. Any change in the normal bowel habit. At the first symptom, go to your doctor. If necessary, he will send you to a hospital for a more complete examination than he can give in his office. Here at the hospital, a highly trained team will serve you. This team includes a physician who has special knowledge of the microscopic appearance of cancer tissue. This pathologist will be able to tell your doctor whether the growth you have is actually cancer. If it is, early treatment can save your life for yourself and loved ones. You must save yourself. Remember the danger signal. Go to your doctor at the first symptom. Cancer must be stopped before it gets away.